you can just listen to it. I'd highly recommend you download it, and whatever your you know your uh, transfer rate speed is, uh, you can download it to your computer or to a, a CD. You know, just uh, however long it's going to take. Uh, it's usually about a hundred megs if it's on, on four hours, maybe a little more, a little less. You know, in that ball game. But uh, you can do it that way, and that way you could get all the necessary information that you require. Um, um, I've given out my email address before on this thing, and um, it would be M-E-L-C-H-I-Z-E-D-E-K underscore mark number seven at yahoo.com and if you'll send me an inquiry as an email um, I'll be or do my best to hook you up with whatever I can or share some of the information but I'll, your main read is going to be oneheaven.org okay. one org. that will give you and everybody there all the information and you can download those forms and everything to where you can look at them and study them uh-huh. Um, or just pull them up on your computer. Uh, does that uh, answer your question, ma'am? Oh, yes. I was typing what he was saying as uh, he was talking tonight and, and then cutting and pasting what he was, which canon he was going through. <laughs> yes, I was ma'am. invited so, uh, by... I'd like to say, if you go back you know, and download the call, it'll be on uh, ready to download probably in about an hour to an hour and a half after this call. And um, um, you can go through and everything he's telling you, you could follow through once you punch in your one, oneheaven.org site and just go step by step down through positive law, trust, or whatever he tells you to go look at. And it's really quite easy to take and uh, meander through it. as an awful lot of information. But without the foundation, we can't build a house. And that That's was... right. Uh, Terry you, uh... Lynn was the one that brought me on the call. Who did? Terry Lynn. Oh, yeah, she's a honey. I'm just telling you, that gal is fine. She and I are really, really good friends, and so um, even though we're about 2,000 miles apart. <laughs> Tell you what, if you have any questions, you get a hold of Terry Lynn. She can hook you up direct with Frank because that's how I hooked up with him. And so she has really been a blessing in my life and and, and will be um, to all these people that uh, you know, coming into the call system. But um, mm-hmm. Mine, too. We're working on assemblies. This is what we're doing. She and I are working on gathering the people together, getting to know our neighbors, understanding what's been happening to us, understanding that nothing stands between us and our divine creator. Oh, I and agree with you 100%. How do we I get do. behind? And, and, you know, we have to work as a group. It's too much for one person to do by themselves. Uh, I agree with that also. But then here again, there's... Uh, a few people get stuck out in the middle of the wood pile out there somewhere, and they're kind of on their own. But yeah. uh, fortunately for us, because of the web and things of that nature, uh, we're able to uh, maybe be separate and far apart as you and Terry Lynn are. But yet, in reality, you're next door via a the phone line so, well, or, the, or the email no system. That's right. The spirit knows no distance. That's correct. That is correct. And that's the same thing you use in healing. And uh, mm-hmm. I uh, had gotten so aggravated with law because everything that we were taught and everything we approached it from, um, we knew it said it, but we never could figure out why they would always steamroll us. And they'll let us win a few, you know, in the game. Mm-hmm. The less uh, the end result was the majority of our people uh, would get smacked up against the wall every time. And uh, the community rule is a good thing, but it must be based upon something where you do not have conflict of personalities and one individual can arbitrarily and capriciously begin to take and shape the structure of that community to where they literally become your local controller. Oh, yeah. That you want to avoid, too, um, because when they went to Sinai, every man, every woman, and every child had to take and make a decision. Uh-huh. Um, and this is the whole thing that you're looking at in these contexts and where he's coming from 
and say the divine covenant, etc., because it's all predicated upon these things. But um, a lot of the the Bibles, the scriptures, we know that at least 4,400 documents from the original text were removed at the Council of Nicaea. Uh-huh. They've redacted over the years, and uh, and um, I knew a man that had an actual um, Alexander Bible. And uh, when they found out he had it, a bunch of black shirts come in. They took the Bible, and uh, that was the end of the story. If he hadn't given it to them, they'd have killed everybody there. So, I mean, they don't want you to know. And this is what Frank was saying tonight. They have perpetrated such fraud they violated the terms and conditions of their trustee claim. Mm-hmm. And see, if, if you don't understand, you cannot destroy um, the house or even a person in martial arts. If you don't take out his foundation, forget it. He's going to knock your head off. Mm-hmm. So uh, this is the principle that I believe that he's he's putting forth because until we go to where we can literally challenge with a logical intellectual, well-informed argument to challenge their argument and prevent the con- and bring the controversy, then they will continue to steamroll us just as they've been doing. Yeah. They can change it as a, at their will. You know, laws of necessity. What they deem necessary, they do. Well, they can until we challenge them. See, that's right. Again, that's why Frank uses uh, um, Martin Luther, because he challenged them at their foundation. When he named, when he nailed the the uh, petition on the wall, he he told them, "Wait a minute, hold the phone. You can't do this." And and see, like right now today, in, in what we call churches, the majority of these churches and ministers, whether they realize it or not, these are agents of the state. I mean, yep. I, that's just the way it is. Yep. And um, so consequently, um, um, you, you're doing the right thing. And Terry Lynn has steered you in the correct direction because she's getting you to look to see how to go about this. So now you can bring your community, your brothers, your sisters, your neighbors together. And yet, when we really get down to it, it'll be planet wide because we're really all brothers and sisters uh-huh. at, in the light essence, but not necessarily in the, the coat of skin essence. And so we have all these wars and they, uh, they use all these controversies continually, and uh, they do the same thing in the court system. And so that's why we fail. Mm-hmm. I tell you, the Lord says, we care, you know, judge not, let you be judged. Well, okay, um, let's take Oof. that real word and use the term judge and go back and look at what it meant. And even the ancient Egyptians who practiced the same rites of circumcision, the feast, et cetera, of the Hebrews. Mm-hmm. Um, the word judgment meant curse. Uh-huh. So that the most powerful form was a curse. Curse. Uh-huh. But when they done that curse, they knew that if it was not placed on something or someone else, then that curse would come back and it would come back amplified. Back to them. Yep. Okay. So when you go to the man at Gadara, and we're in the teachings in the, the Gospels, it said he cast out the demons and they asked him if he had come before the time, and um, he let the, they requested that they go into the swine. He let them go into the swine, and they went off the cliff. He took and put the curse to where it would go somewhere else without having the ability to return to him. Right. Right. And so this is the premise and the basis of these these true doctrines of, of law. And uh, in reality, uh, when we say scripture, to me, um, you're looking at the true divine law, but yet you can find these same concepts written in various religious and spiritual beliefs from all over the world. It's just that they have codified your King James predicated upon certain constraints with the papacy and um, going back to, say, this uh, Latinization of law. And that's how they've controlled us because they have done as Charles Finney uh, did, and I think it was 1798, he found that um, he could use the emotion of people in teaching or preaching in, say, a religious church setting, uh, which was an artificial construct because there's no such thing as a church in the actual meaning. It means an ecclesia, a body electric in right. Greek, and you're it. You're the temple. Uh, you're yep. the thing that's made without hands. 
But as long as they can get you to think it's the building, they can now inflict the guilt, the fear, the this and that and the other. And so when you go into a court, what are they doing? You're in the position of slave versus master. And uh, they begin to inflict and exercise their fear, their ceremony, their pomp, um, their uh, um, guards Magic. standing around with pieces on, you know, pistols. And uh, so they put you in this state of fear to control you because they're influencing your emotion. And that's what many found. And there isn't a televangelist out there today that's not schooled in those principles. Yeah, I don't go to church. <laughs> well, I don't go to church either. How can I go where I already am? Exactly. It's like she said, though, it's magic. It's their magic. Yep. Yeah, it is magic, magi. Mm-hmm. That's right. There's two forms of magic. Mm-hmm. One of them is the divine, and it means the wise magi, the one that can turn and and alter the situation, like uh, Jacob, uh, Israel, the uh-huh. Hebrew. And yet each of those three terms had very unique meanings to them. Ninety-nine and nine-tenths percent of the people do not comprehend what in the thunder they're saying, or I just said, because they only comprehend it from what they've been told or accepted to believe that it means. That's right. But who's educating them? And that's exactly what I mean by educating them. They're well, being told the, what to teach. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's the term discipleship. I can't go make a convert. I can't even make a disciple. But I can teach them certain solid foundation principles that they can then begin to disciple, study, and teach themselves. The scripture says, perchance they will deliver themselves Mm -hmm. from the snare of the devil. It's not some wild nebula, something floating out there. It is some man-woman situation that has set up a thing to control you, and that is your Satan, Satan, your adversary. And uh, until they wake up to that, they're never going to get out of it because most people have a devil, a Satan, so to speak, uh, that is stronger and more powerful than the God they claim they believe in. It's just that simple. All by ignorance. Yep. We perish for a lack of knowledge. That's yep. it. Absolutely. Yes, ma'am. I like the way you talk. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's why Terry and I get into really good conversations. <laughs> because it, it is about the spirit, and it's about... Um, knowing, well, like Frank, um, yeah, Frank, is that his name tonight? You have yeah, to Frank. know the point of, you have to have a, a strong point of origin or every other argument is moot. It doesn't matter because if it's tainted right out of the box, then everything else you're presuming is tainted mm-hmm. or based upon. It doesn't work. Absolutely. You have to go back to the origin. Can't bind most... you with a piece of paper. You can't be bound with a piece of paper. It's the only way you, you get bound by a piece of paper is by your ignorance and by your consent. Yeah. I already know this. I've seen it happen a dozen times in courtrooms. Mm-hmm. It, you, you can't be bound to that name or that estate unless you identify yourself as that name. When when they call the case, if you say yes, I'm here, well then you're guilty. Yeah, you admitted you're the false thing. That violates the maxim of law, which they supposedly honor, that, you know, you can't bind flesh to paper and a paper to flesh. So that kind of shoots out the window, all this uh, trust business, and that it has anything to do with you because you're only bound by it by your ignorance if you don't know the maxims of law, which they base their whole law on, these maxims. Well, and my conduct also. Well, yes, I mean... uh... Uh, you know, fair, honest, and just actions with your fellow man based upon a brotherly love because in reality we really are our brother's keeper. And and by us learning and the people seeing that we're free, once we apply this true law, then they automatically will get on board. It was less than 10% of the people that fought uh, during the Revolutionary War, and yep. uh, they twisted your history the word most people do not even understand what in the thunder was going on uh, during that time frame. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it, it, you're right. I mean, if it's tainted, if it's a rotten apple, it's a rotten apple, period. Well, they don't even know their history, and they don't want to stick their head out of the sand. And, and you know, they, they just, 
Yeah, it's it's just really sad, and I can't tell you how many people we do talk to, and they just, oh, 